Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Far Cry 6. Last time we got over here to the Zamok Archipelago, otherwise known as Libertad Base, and and then we went back to Isla Santari uh, Santuario to get some more boxes, and we did that. But now we're back here, and we need to go make contact with Philly Barzaga over in Madrigada. And we are going to start off by taking one of the most ridiculous vehicles in this game. It's like a homemade helicopter thing, helicopter buzzard thing that has uh, flotation devices on the side. Which is very cool. Oh boy. The, the sidearm boys I can turn it there, there we go. Yeah, so this thing is pretty crazy. I'm gonna have to uh, probably turn off copyright music because it's gonna end up being a problem. Um, oh jeez. That's gonna be happening, I guess. Uh, oh, that's because I keep it in the wrong button. Okay, so I wanted to land this over here. Is that gonna work? Yeah, there we go. And this uh, buzzer is over there. So, cool. Let me see if I can turn off this copyrighted music. Which, well, I'm assuming this is copyrighted. Two of my videos have copyright claims on them now. So, one second. Well, I didn't find any such settings, so I guess we're gonna continue with... Oh, well. Also, what's cool is Danny, uh, the main character, sings along to a lot of the radio songs, which is very cool. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing I don't try to monetize these videos at this point, so. But if I never did, that would be a problem. That's why this is just a hobby for now. If it grows into something cool, if not, eh, whatever. It's still fun. My controller's vibrating pretty substantially. We're also going to be getting close to an AA weapon here. AA, why did I say it that way? An aircraft sight. <laughs> an AA gun soon. That I don't want to be dealing with. So we're going to lower ourselves down here. You can get around them just a little bit if you stay Clara, really low. Who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your in. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, uh, nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. Good point. A fishing book. Neat. Uh, I'm gonna go... I want to get over there because there's a boat I want to scan with my phone. Um, I don't really care about that junk boat. I looked at it a second ago. I don't really care about that boat in particular, but um, what it will do for me is get me more customization on other vehicles that I do care about if I go ahead and scan it. Oh, man. Oh, that'll work. I think I'm standing on the very edge of this pier right now. Yep. <laughs> it's alright. Worked out. And then over here, looks like there's a taxi or something. Yep. Oh, hi, officer. Soldier? Officer? I don't know. Like they said in the beginning, that these basically are the police now. Oh boy. Hi. Yep. Hold still. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yeah. Goodness. Ugh. All right. Ow! Jeez. Someone better come revive me. Kill him. Come revive me. I don't think Wapo can come revive me, but these guys hopefully can. If they want to. Come on, guys. I know there's a little bit of fire, but I need a hand. I need a hand here. Oh, please. Come on. Come on. It's going away. The fire's going away. Come back. Come back. Help me? Somebody? Hello? Is... Lady? Can you come... Can you come pick me up? Is anyone gonna get me? I guess the game has decided that guy has to come get me, and he's real distracted. Yeah. Okay, weird. Whatever. So, I'm not very good with the CD launcher. Um, 
I didn't even manage. I fired five CD or ten CDs and didn't manage to hit the guy. Oh, he kept moving around though. I'm gonna blame it on that. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Don't tell me I can't to have nothing to fast travel back to. No, of course I don't. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a boat over there this time. Because, yeah, it'll be faster. I don't have to worry about AA guns. Let's try this again. One dude with a shotgun just ruined everything there. Uh, let's take the one with the machine gun in case I have to defend myself. I won't make you guys sit through that again. That's one thing I've noticed about this game. Checkpoints are brutal, as in there's a lack of them. As far as, like, respawn points. Like, it could have just put me on the shoreline over there somewhere. That would have been fine. But no, I'm all the way over here. Okay, and we're back. And I think that's the same crappy boat that I scanned last time, but I'm gonna find out. It is. Okay. Alright, no more screwing around this time. If a bad guy shows up, we're just gonna freaking kill him. <laughs> with whatever gun that makes it the easiest. Because evidently the CD launcher is not that easy to use. I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. I don't already have one of those. I'll go ahead and scan it. And thank you. Okay. Um, there's a guy on this stinking horse blocking me over here. If I can get up behind the guy um, on his while he's on this horse without noticing, without him noticing me, then it should work out. Well, I hit him that time, at least. Hi. Ooh, got him. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Okay. Now, I noticed there's a workbench and lever tide crate and all this good stuff over here, so I'm gonna go back and get that while I'm standing right next to it. There's a lever tide path back here somewhere. There it is. Yes. Up. And up. I set up. There we go. Can I get up here? Ooh. Um, what do you want me to grapple onto something, or do I just need to go faster? Just faster. Okay. Workbench. Do I need a workbench for anything? Um, uh, yeah, RPD. Oh, I should put some different ammo in this, huh? If I can, maybe a compensator as well. Oh, wait, this RPD can't have a compensator. That's right. Hey, okay, no, not that one. Where is it? This one. <clears throat> yeah, this doesn't get a compensator. I can at least put in... I'm going to put in soft target rounds, actually. Um, when I first played this, I thought that armor piercing was like the only ammo you could use and be effective with. That's still better, but it's not as necessary as I thought it was. I thought it was like the only way to kill anything was just to use armor piercing and get headshots, and that's it. And if you're not doing that, then you're doing it wrong. And... Having played the game a whole lot more, I can say that's not necessarily true. It ha certainly helps, but it's not the only way, so. Which is good, because I was really worried about that. Um, but thankfully, it's, it's just not really that big of an issue. I thought it was. What the? So, take this. Guerrillero, come here. Tell Hi. me what you know. Danny, they put a fucking anti-aircraft cannon on my family's land. I'll mark it on your map. I saw that. Cool. Uh, where is it? Exactly. Oh, it's over there. It's that one. Okay. Um, and then there's another Libertad crate. It's down there. Yeah. Is there a... I don't suppose there's like a grapple point or something to make that easier. Is there? Nope. Okay. Use the parachute. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it didn't want to go for some reason. Ooh. I'm down. And... Uh, I said I'm up. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Um, I've also, in my free time, I've been playing uh, a little bit more New Dawn. I beat the game, and I did some extra stuff after I beat the game, but that kind of stopped. I don't remember why. It's a pretty fun game, um, but I just I didn't complete it. I like to. I like to when it's when it's practical and it's not just some absolutely outrageous challenge. I like to do completion in games. Um, and I never did that for New Dawn, so I would be I would be doing that for Far Cry 6, but I don't want to burn myself out on this game in the middle of a Let's Play by playing it outside of the Let's Play, if that makes sense. So I know if I play this too much, um, 
I'm just I'm gonna get burnt out on it and I don't want that to happen in the middle of a let's play because I want to be having fun while I'm doing the let's play because if I'm not having fun then it shows and then it makes the video less fun too so speaking of fun I would love to find some American crocodiles right now well there's a little crocodile a little yarn crocodile um how do I do this without damaging it too badly oh he's chasing the hoodia Oh, he's coming after me. You want some of this? I am kind of trying to go for headshots here. And I think I can. Come here. Alright, careful what you wish for. Oh! Good job, Guapo. Thank you. Oh, it's an alpha crocodile. That's why it wouldn't die. Well, that's good, because that's for, uh... Like... Industrial, what is it? Industrial circuits? Or maybe uh, industrial composite? It's one of the two. It's one of those real valuable ones. Let's see. Uh, industrial circuits, yeah. Those are hard to come by. Especially in the early game. So that's cool. That also explains why it was all by itself. And not in a big group. So, nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Put that away. Do I have the full parkour set equipped right now? No, I don't. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And now, I can slide, and I can run uh, a little bit faster for a little while there. Like so. Uh, although, well, no. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, when you have the full parkour set equipped, and you're using that slide speed buff like this, it's literally almost as fast as riding around on, on a vehicle. Or in a vehicle. It's, it's literally almost as fast. Assuming you don't get distracted like this and scan vehicles. But I want interior colors and stuff because they can be, uh, well, interior, exterior colors, you get wheels sometimes, you get horns and all kinds of crazy customizations. And I want, I want to have as many of those as I can for making my rides look cool and stuff. Anyways, we're just about here. Philly is probably kind of my works favorite. Place like this? Favorite supporting character in this game, I think. Let's meet him. Are you Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your back? Know what I can find him. Serbes? So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? And you hold that down for me. That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> But I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. OK. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. <laughs> Sony <laughs> say what did you want? Philip Magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, our backbone. His family is gonna save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero? <laughs> See that. Chorizo, come on, let's go back. Let's follow his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. Let's pa. Oh, man. She's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dear. No. But then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. I like Philly. 
Vamos. Feel the magic, baby. <laughs> so, he's cool. And I think we're gonna get a phone call to or from Clara here, explaining that we met the guy and he's out of his mind, but that's okay. Blue Hole Cave is off limits, swimmers all ages, you can hold your breath. Don't! Treasure hunt. Where's that? Is that nearby? No, not really. We'll get to that eventually. For now, there's all kinds of stuff to be collecting around here. Metal and... That's a lot of car batteries. Uh, let's see. Quad bike, quad bike. Um, also, scanning various colors of the same vehicle is nothing for you. It only counts that you scan the vehicle itself, regardless of the color. And then scan, you know, like I said, you can't scan the same vehicle multiple times, even if it is a different color. Which is kind of an odd way to do it, but, you know, it's like scanning, uh, scanning a boat will give you, like, an exterior color for everything else. It's like, really? it's odd, but... Danny, you know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up? Oh, the hero! Que hola! What's this plantation look like? Cigars, white suits, dinner parties, except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the west now. It's a plantation. It's an old building with tobacco all around. Espada got her size on the lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? The Monteros play it quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. Look that metal. Yeah. Fucking truck. I guess. Oh. Hey, you. Uh, this, I have to be careful here. This is a, a blast. Um, <laughs> blast ammo. Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Head in there now. Golly once I've met Carlos. It'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. Tank, that's a problem. I'm just gonna hide down here. Um, we don't have a vehicle pickup point yet, do we? No, not for regular vehicles. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to get over there. All right, yeah. I'm. This tank is gonna be real upset when he sees what's going on here. You, uh, you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're towing that poison truck there. But, jeez, what's going on? World is going mad. So, these vehicles here, there was one, the first one we stopped had metal over there, and the one, to the second one there with the barrels had gasoline, and that, actually that big white box truck you saw go by there has medicine. All of these things are useful for upgrading your camps later, which we'll get into eventually. Um, but I can't capture any of those vehicles because I don't have a vehicle pickup point here yet, so, kinda stuck for now. Um, but... Let's see, I'm gonna need... Hey, look out. Oh! What did you... Oh! Who's gone? Hey, come back. Oh, jeez. The whole world's gone mad. What is going on? Oh my god, what just happened? What just happened? Holy crap. I think there must have been a tank of gasoline there or something I didn't see. Holy cow. That was all just craziness. No, no, don't mind me, don't mind me. It took quite a few hits, but I got him eventually. Okay. Man, oh man. Uh, did this guy stop and get out of his vehicle? Because if he did... Get him, Guapo. Get him, Guapo. Her? I guess it's a her, based on what I'm hearing. Come on, Guapo. Alright, I'm gonna let you self-revive here. Real quick. Flashbang? Or was that EMP? That was EMP. Bam! I see you too. I see your dad. Give me your loot. Guapo, you gonna self-revive there? Hurry up. Do it. Come on, Guapo. Come on, Guapo. I can see him. Hey, spot me for a sec. Put me back in combat. I think that's how this works for Guapo. I think Guapo has to be in combat. I don't know. He's supposed to self-revive. He's not doing it. 
Are you shooting? Oh, I thought we were shooting random civilians. Wapo, I thought you self revived. I was pretty sure. Hang on a second. Don't you do that? Uh, self revives after being down in combat. Yeah. You gonna... Oh, there we go. Wow. Does it always take that long? Because that took a long, long time. Alright, well. 74 out of 3,000. What the heck is that for? Wait, details. Uh. Have Guapo regenerate. Okay, 3,000 nothing combat. Man. Well, he, he did revive himself. It just took half of forever. I need a vehicle. Um, I need to stop one of these cars. Stop the next car that comes along. Because I don't really want to run that far. Oh, he's still regenerating health. He's still going. Okay, cool. I need a vehicle, guys. Oh, wait, I can call it a ride. I always forget about that. It's new to these games. I think in New Dawn, some of the AI teammates would show up with a vehicle when you call them, but it's not the same as like calling in a, a direct vehicle that you customize and everything, so I'm just not used to that. But I can get over here a little quicker. I love our little chorizo chibi there. So yeah, the little dog that Philly has with them chorizo is a little, little wiener dog that uh, doesn't have any back legs, so he has a little like wheelchair basically instead, <laughs> which is just amazing. We'll get to do more with chorizo uh, at a later date, but yeah, I love chorizo. Everybody loves chorizo. I want I want to like Guapo, but he's just not very good, frankly. So we're driving into a big old restricted area here, and as you'll soon start to realize, someone's already been busy here. He's not fucking around. Shit, another one. Yeah, something has already, something bad has already happened here. But at least we know that she's around here, in the right place. Or it seems to be, anyways. This sword? They should call her the blade. Hmm. Oh, give me this. Yeah. What do we get? New gun? No, some gunpowder. That's okay then. She's fucking good. Yeah, she's killed a lot of these guys. Upstairs. Here to the left. Hey you, talk. Oh, too late. Already dead. What the fuck is happening up there? I don't know, let's go find out. Stop! Please! Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? Please don't kill me. Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Go where you need. No, but it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. So With she's also pretty cool? Outside. Okay. All right. We got soldiers down. Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Sounds like it. Going to be on our ass. Sounds like they're already here. We got soldiers down. Yeah, they're already here. We got trouble. Oh, shoot that alarm out. Not a gun. Yeah. Oh. 
Get him, Guapo. Her. Them. I don't know. Get him. Can't see enough. Don't yeah. care. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Kill the bad guys. I have to remember he's actually have limited ammo in this game. Grenade! Oh, I couldn't get off that fast enough. Like I said before, I like to wait as long as I possibly can to heal because the healing cooldown is really long. Go, Guapo. You get that one. Oh, oh, don't, I didn't want to slide. Okay, <laughs> funny enough, this game has the same issue, um, or the same issue as Battlefield in the uh, beta, which is you can't be sprinting and just Stop sprinting and go to a crouch by pressing one button. If you're sprinting and you tap B, you don't just sit down and crouch. You slide. Um, and it's, it doesn't really... That's how it's always been in this game, but I'm not used to it. Because, well, in uh, Far Cry, I mean, that's how it's always been. But I'm not used to it because in the most recent Battlefield games, at sliding, if you tap B, you just sit down and crouch. In the new beta in 2042's beta, and in this game, if you tap B, you just go straight to a slide, which means you can't just, just like, sit down and crouch. You, uh, you have to slide. In the previous games, you'd have to hold B to slide. But now, if you're sprinting at all, you tap B, you just slide, even if you're not trying to slide, which is a little annoying. So I'm gonna go take this and take this ammo. Right behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's ride. Go ahead and get on the horses. Okay, come on. Where are you going? Don't worry. I'm Hurry afraid. up, get on your darn horse. Let's ride. I'm waiting on you. Let's go. This way? Okay. Go. I'm with you. Oh jeez. <sighs> Move it! Please tell me your horse is still okay, even though I ran into the back of you. Nope. I hate that. Uh, I just get on with you. Is that gonna work? That's fine. Yeah. There we go. Don't run over Guap. What is wrong with you? This Guapo's okay. What are you doing now? Where are you? Where are you going? Just what, what is happening here? Look, okay, your horse stopped in front of me. It's not my problem, all right? What are you doing now? Are you done? Back on the quad bike? Are you done? What is going on? <laughs> Come on, we gotta move! Yeah, I'm right behind you. You're moving slow as hell. You uh, can take a lot of bullets through that big old hazmat suit there. Seriously, wow. That's pretty crazy. That's a whole lot better, using blast ammo. Okay, can we at least take a vehicle or something? Because you are going to move slow as all heck. On foot. Can we, can we talk? Can we say something? What if I get on a vehicle? Will you get on with me? And then I'll just lead the way? Will that work? No? Oh, goodness. I wish we had a vehicle. Or our horses. It's. Oh, man. I wonder, if I shoot her and down her reviver, is that gonna fix anything? Let's find out. It's You're worth a now. shot. It's it's worth a shot. Okay, now what? Okay, good. Yes. You quit running over Guapo every time. Shit! Take this way! 
Well, this did kind of work. Revive, killing her and then reviving her. I'd say this worked. All right, it's better than better than what it was. So you're that supposed to be good. on horses the whole time, but because she stopped in front of me, my horse, I guess, ran over and apparently okay. killed her we horse. See, and then we get in this good. mess. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? The military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Yeah, seriously. I'm just glad this is working now. This is not the Seems like Castillo's intended made things way, pretty rough but out it's here. working, His so... Nephew Jose is, his nephew Jose what is, the is real going on? For us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon the Pequeño. A little Napoleon? Cute! The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now Papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need Libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trusts his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara sent. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. Oh, well, I hope so. I need his help. <clears throat> Wabo got left behind back there. Yeah, the horses, when they run around in this game, the horses are absolutely destructive. I mean, it's just far crazy. Away is of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no, it's okay. Getting some good cardio in. Yeah, sure am. I'm sitting on the uh, back of a quad bike here. Wasn't the, uh, the real plan, but, you know, it's alright. Montero Farm. All right. Cool. Quad bike was probably faster than the horses anyways. What's going on? You're in the west now, Guerrero. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Thing? Bullshit. Who's that? My name is. I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Chorizo out of this. <laughs> our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us. That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for dessert, buddy. Come on. Oh, little chorizo. <laughs> Operation completed. Meet the Monteros. Ta-da. Also, third person. Check it out. So we are in his camp now. Guerrilla camp facilities. Guerrilla. I don't know. Um, talk to the foreman of the construction desk. Build camp facilities. Build and upgrade camp facilities to, upgrade, uh, to access various benefits and unlock different specializations to fit your needs. Yeah. 
So let's see here. Go a new face. up to this guy. This is what we use metal, medicine, and gasoline for. So um, we can only build two of these at uh, each camp, and there are three camps in the game, and we'll have access to all of them eventually. But for starters, we let's see. I want the uh, hideout network mainly because of the wingsuit, um, but also you get a whole bunch of hideouts that you can fast travel to all around the world, which is very, very useful. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And if we go talk to this guy... Oh, also, yeah, we got the weak seat. Clara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself. Alright. So if we talk to this guy here at the Hideout Network, you can see we can buy these hideouts all over the place. Uh, in all the different maps, or all the different uh, regions. So, pretty cool. And... Then there is also Good to see you, Dan. Excuse me, the Garia Garrison. Uh, use recon laptops placed at vantage points to scout F and D bases. This is also very useful. So I think we we will go ahead and build the Garrison next, and hopefully sometime soon here I'll show off the recon laptop thing that is really helpful. Also, on top of that, it acts as a place for you to buy weapons and stuff like this. So that can be very, very useful. Um, I don't think there's anything in here right now that I need or want. But it's a good source of weaponry and everything. Um, I'm going to look. I don't think we have enough materials for anything now. But I want to look at what the upgrades will do. Oh, I see. Oh, man. Excuse me. Yawning and yawning and yawning. Uh, vehicles near each hideout, a daily replenishing supply crate. That's pretty good. Advanced weapons for sale. Support from Garia snipers around Yara. Better trained Garias for fighting in Yara. And advanced recon laptops to tag high value targets. Hmm. So those are things we definitely want to be going for pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah. Let me see what time we're at. I think we're... Thank you, Robert. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it for now. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a slightly long episode, uh, but that's okay. I am falling asleep, so we're gonna call it for this one. Uh, one one slightly longer episode. We're gonna get into all this camp stuff and more story stuff and meet Charizzo properly next time. But that'll do it for this episode of Far Cry 6. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one. I want a pool. I want a wet bar.